What's going on? It's Casey. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you're well. Hope you're safe. So, I'm going to do a video today on reverb and how to get your reverb to sound pro. So, I'm guilty of it. When I first started using reverb in the beginning stages, I just did put reverb on everything because it just makes it makes things sound luscious. Lush. <laughs> I haven't used that word for years. Yeah, it just gives it a nice sound and a nice sheen to it. But it's easy to overdo it. It's, it's easy to put 100 on 10 and make it sound all swamped and washed out. And before you know, your vocals are back in the mix and you don't know what you've done wrong because you like the sound of the reverb. When you're in the bathroom and stuff and you're singing, thinking you're Breezy or Angel or, or Janae or Aiko, the reverb in the bathroom is making you sound like you're on stage. You feel you feel like a an artist, a proper artist because of the reverb. So yeah, we're guilty. Reverb is amazing when you know how to use it properly. So I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to use reverb and make it sound professional. Before we jump into the video, let's quickly shout out my two newest subscribers. So shout out Alexandria Hopkins and John Black. Thank you both for subscribing. I appreciate you both. Hope you've hit the notification bell as well so you get notified for future videos. So my favourite comment is actually a month ago and I've, I don't know how I've missed this one, but shout out Michael Brindley for the comment. Yeah, I appreciate you bro. And it's always good to get feedback on the videos, whether it's good or bad. And just knowing that it's helping you and others. That, yeah, that means a lot to me. So yeah, thank you for the comment, bro. I appreciate you. Also, just quickly, if you look like this t-shirt that I'm wearing today, Just Do Me, there's a link in the description box below. Support my boys and, and his upcoming clothing line. Yeah, doing good things. So it's always nice to see people that you know or just people in general doing what they love, building their brands in whatever way that is. And just, yeah, just supporting homegrown talent. So yeah, like I said, if you if you like the the t-shirt, the caps, and whatever else he's doing, link in the description below, hit him up on Instagram, DJ Icy. Alright, enough of that, let's get into this video. So what is reverb? All reverb is, is a bunch of delays, all mashed together, like thousands of delays, all mashed together, which creates this sound. So when you're in a church, when you're walking in a stairway, that basically it's a, it's a space. It's the sound of a room, it's the sound of a building, it's just, it's the atmosphere. So all you're trying to do with the reverb is create a space. So you've got your vocal, you want to either put it in a room, putting it in church, a cathedral, a hall, or you're using like a spring reverb, plate reverb. So there's all different types of reverb. So all you're trying to do is find a reverb that complements the sound or the source that you're using it on. So I've got this track here that I produced, mixed and mastered. Um, it's featuring Calico, Leash and Half. I'm just going to look at the reverb that I've chosen for for Coleco's vocals um, and what I was trying to do with this is create a sound of the room that complemented his vocals. So I'm going to show you how you can sync the reverb to your to your mix and prevent it from sounding washed out and swampy and lose your vocals. So I use Chromaverb to calculate the pre-delay and the decay time of the reverb. Let me show you. So with Chromaverb you've got the pre-delay and it gives you it in times. you got all your different timings there that would be synced that there's a game changer some people like to get a calculator out and start calculating the bpm with 6000 and it's, it it does work but then it takes up a lot of time with chromaverb same time but i don't use chromaverb in my mixes so for example i'm using a third party plugin like 2c8 file or oxford reverb or any third party plugin that doesn't have what chromaverb has you can still time your delays just use the chromaverb so just pick the timing. Say for example, I want the pre-delay to be 16th, quarter, half. All you need to do is just choose that and it will give you the correct timing. So I'll just play the rap vocal for you now and boost the reverb so you can hear what's going on. Lovely. What the pre-delay does is, it, so for the source, when the source is played, it's playing, the pre-delay comes after. So that's the source, and the pre-delay comes after the source, so it gives it some space behind the source. So the, the for example, the vocal will be here, the pre-delay will be here, so it's pushing back, so it gives it space, and that's that's what you want. You don't want this, it depends on what you're doing, but beginning mistakes is you just put the reverb on and you've got the the pre-delay straight on it so it kind of swamps the vocal sometimes brings the vocal back 
as well. And then we don't want that. We want the vocal to sound up front and clear. Pre-delay is one of the parameters you want to look at. Get that right and it will help to make your vocal sound a lot more clear rather than washed and all swamped out. Then it's the reverb times. So if you've picked a preset that you like the sound of, don't worry about the, the timings or the parameters too much. Choose your reverb that you like the sound of that complements the source, your vocals. Do the pre-delay trick that I've just showed you and then also look at the decay time. So again with chroma verb, what I like to do is grab the chroma verb, go to decay time, click on the little music note that gives you the different timings. So you've got a bar. How long do you want your reverb? Do you want, do you want a, the length of a bar? Do you want a, a half dotted? Do you want it just half? Do you want it full, quarter dotted? Do you know what I mean? It's this half triplets. So these now, the reverbs. So now the reverb will be in sync and in time with your, your mix. So it, it won't, depending on what you choose, like what I've chosen here, I've chosen a uh, 1.7, which is a bar. So it is in time with the beat. So the reverb will come and it will close, it will go by the end of the bar and come back. So it's, it sounds nice, it works nice with the vocals, it works nice with the beat. And these are the little tricks that you want to get to grips with. So I'm going to change the decay time to 0.87, which is half and I want to boost it so you can hear what's happening. Yo. Where you play the games? Where you fresh is? Save your front. I ain't up to jump. That love did dead when you left it slump. Don't pull that cord or try that stunt. You you ain't kill my high or even kill my buzz. There ain't no connect that connect us. Let's the chat ease it up. Don't don't DM me. You have to fight the urge. Who I'm with and who I see and where I be in your concerns. Yo. Actually, the 0.87, which was half, sounded quite nice. So, yeah, this is the thing. At the time of doing the mix, I felt like 1.7, which was a, a bar, might be too long for the for the for the mix. But I felt that it sounded nice at the time, and I still do. I still think it sounds nice. So you can just mess around with the decay times, use chroma verb, or if you're in Logic, or if you've got a, a, a reverb that allows you to see what you're choosing so you've got your halves your quarter notes your eighths effective whatever it is but syncing your reverb to your your mix your session will make it sound a lot more professional another tip for making your reverb sound professional is EQing them so what you want to do with your EQ is while the whole mix is playing slap an EQ on there sweep through if you have to find what's annoying and just make it sit with the whole of the mix you can EQ before it hits the reverb or you can EQ after. It's entirely up to you, whatever you want to do. No one's going to listen to it and think, oh, you've EQ'd that after the reverb. It doesn't really matter. You do what you have to do. It's your artwork, it's your piece, it's your canvas. You do whatever makes you happy and makes the mix sound good. As well, if the vocal is sibilant, then you can also strap a de on there as well. Take out some of the S's if you don't want to EQ too much of the actual reverb. And that's also a nice way of making it fit in the mix and making everything sound as one and sound amazing and bring you some repeat clients and make the listener happy because that's what it's about you everyone you want it to sound smooth you want it to sound nice you want it to you want clients coming back so that's how you get your reverb to sound professional timing syncing them to your mix. Yeah, early reflections, late reflections, and all that come into play. Just pick a nice preset that you like the sound of, and then time the pre-delay and the decay time so you don't swamp up your mix and make everything sound washed out. So if you've got any questions, hit me up on Insta. Always happy to help, DMs always open. If this video's helped you at all, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell as well so you get notified anytime I put up a new video, because it helps, it helps my channel, helps it to grow. As per usual, I appreciate your time. You know? Sorry about this, guys. This is what I have to put up with.